picture an aircraft that has soared through the annals of aviation history, outlasting its intended successors, and still commands the skies with its formidable presence. The B-52 Stratofortress stands as a marvel of aeronautical engineering and a beacon of the U.S. Air Force's enduring might. As this venerable warbird prepares to embrace a new chapter in its legendary service, one question looms large. What is the secret behind the B-52's remarkable longevity? Could it be its storied past or perhaps the pulse of its newly outfitted engines that promised to thrust it into the future? As we delve into the saga of the Air Force's dedication to the B-52, another query arises, what revolutionary upgrades await this iconic bomber as it gears up to meet the challenges of modern warfare? Let's find out in this episode why the Air Force keeps B-52 alive. Before delving into the upgrades, especially the new engines, let's have a quick view of this bomber and the reason why the Air Force is still keeping alive. The B-52 Stratofortress embarked on its initial flight in April 1952, designed as a nuclear weapon carrier for deterrence missions during the Cold War, succeeding the Convair B-36 Peacemaker. Despite its involvement in numerous conflicts, the B-52 has exclusively employed conventional bombs in combat, informally known as the Big Ugly Fat Fella, or Buff. The B-52 Stratofortress has served the United States Air Force since 1955. By June 2019, the fleet comprised 76 aircraft, with 58 in active service, including those with the 2nd and 5th Bomb Wings, 18 with the Reserve 307th Bomb Wing, and roughly 12 stored at the davis Monthan Air Force Base's Boneyard in Arizona. Initially part of the Strategic Air Command until its dissolution in 1992, the B-52s were then integrated into the Air Combat Command. In 2010, they transitioned to the Air Force Global Strike Command. The B-52s have remained operational due to their exceptional performance, high subsonic speeds, and cost-effectiveness, even with the introduction of advanced bombers like the Convair B-58 Hustler, the North American XB-70 Valkyrie, the Rockwell B-1 Lancer, and the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit. Upgrades between 2013 and 2015 have prepared these aircraft for service into the 2050s. Despite attempts to phase out the BUFF, its unmatched lethality and efficiency have ensured its survival. The B-52 still operates with its original Pratt and Whitney TF-33P engines, akin to the JT-3D engines of the pioneering 707 commercial jetliner, albeit under a different designation. So what is so special about BUFF that the Air Force is still keeping it alive until now? The significance of the B-52 to the U. S. Air Force is rooted in its impressive record-setting history and its critical role during strategic military operations. Upon its introduction, the B-52 Stratofortress shattered world records for speed over distances of 5,000 and 10,000 kilometers in 1958 and for the longest non-stop flight by an unrefueled aircraft between 1960 and 1962. Yet, its record-breaking feats were not its sole contribution. The Cold War era underscored the necessity for long-range bombers capable of carrying nuclear weapons at low altitudes to counteract the Soviet Union's missile capabilities, and the B-52 fit this role perfectly. Throughout Operation Chrome Dome from 1960 to 1968, B-52s armed with thermonuclear weapons patrolled near the Soviet border, with up to a dozen flights daily. The B-52's versatility was further demonstrated in its deployment during the Vietnam and Gulf Wars, as well as in more recent conflicts against groups like the Taliban and ISIS. Its ability to operate at various altitudes and fulfill diverse tactical roles, thanks to its adaptability and upgradability, has been invaluable. From 1954 to 1962, 744 B-52s were produced over eight major model variations, maintaining their importance in military operations through continuous enhancements in range, fuel efficiency, avionics, and more, including the recent addition of the Combat Network Communications Technology, CONACT. Currently, only about 76 B-52s remain active, all B-52H variants, with a mission-capable rate below 60%. Nevertheless, the Air Force is committed to prolonging the service life of these aircraft, recognizing the lack of comparable alternatives for their wide array of missions. This commitment is reflected in the substantial 48, 
6 billion US dollars investment to upgrade the B-52 fleet, focusing on comprehensive improvements to ensure the B-52H's operational effectiveness until at least 2060. After the upgrades, the B-52H will be redesignated as the B-52J. The Air Force's decision to rejuvenate an airframe over 60 years old has sparked considerable discussion. The envisioned fleet, comprising 100 B-21s and 76 B-52Js, is poised to be a powerful force capable of executing diverse operations and striking a variety of targets, particularly with the integration of advanced hypersonic weaponry. The B-52's enduring presence and planned enhancements highlight its pivotal role in the U.S. Air Force's strategic capabilities. New engine. With all possible updates now implemented on the B-52, the focus has shifted to the most crucial system needing an upgrade, the engines. Rolls-Royce declared on March 1 that testing of the F-130 engines chosen for the U.S. Air Force's B-52 fleet commenced at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. These engines are set to replace the aging Pratt and Whitney TF-33P engines with the modernization program anticipating the delivery of more than 600 F-130 engines. The upgrade includes not just the engines, but also the aerodynamic twin pods that house two of the eight engines each along with new pylons for wing attachment. Although the Pratt & Whitney engines have been instrumental in the B-52's long service, their maintenance costs have skyrocketed. The Air Force mandates a complete overhaul of each TF-33 engine after every 6,000 flight hours, costing $2 million per engine. By 2019, these maintenance expenses, combined with fuel consumption, made the B-52 one of the costliest planes to operate at $70,000 per flight hour. The Air Force initiated the B-52 commercial engine replacement program in 2018, with Rolls-Royce, Pratt & Whitney, and General Electric Aviation contending for the contract. After a competitive three-year selection process, Rolls-Royce secured the $500.8 million contract in 2021. Fast forward to the present, Rolls-Royce has announced the commencement of tests for the new F-130 engines. The F-130, a military designation by Rolls-Royce, has been powering the elite's travel since 1995. Its commercial counterpart, the BR-700 series, has been propelling Gulfstream and Bombardier business jets and the Boeing 717 since the mid-90s. On March 1, 2023, Rolls-Royce began testing the F-130 engines at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. The program anticipates delivering 600 new engines and spares. This phase marked a significant milestone as it was the first time the F-130 engines were tested in the B-52's dual pod configuration. The tests aim to assess crosswind aerodynamics and verify the engine's digital control systems, with early results showing promise. Rolls-Royce is working closely with the U.S. Air Force and Boeing, which oversees the engine integration and the B-52's modernization. The new engines are expected to add another 30 years to the B-52's lifespan, with the F-130 engines likely to last for the aircraft's remaining service life, potentially marking over a century since the B-52's first flight. The F-130, stemming from the reliable BR engine family, boasts over 30 million flight hours and a high reliability. Known for its fuel efficiency, the F-130 will be produced in Indianapolis at Rolls-Royce's largest U.S. facility, which has seen over a billion dollars in recent investments for modernization. Other upgrades. Also, the B-52J is set to receive a series of significant upgrades, excluding engine replacement, to extend its service life into the 2050S. These updates include the installation of the uh, PG-79 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar System, AESA, which will provide a significant boost in target tracking and situational awareness. The cockpit is also slated for a major upgrade, transitioning to a glass cockpit with state-of-the-art digital displays, while still maintaining some of the classic analog gauges to preserve the aircraft's historical essence. Additionally, the B-52J will be equipped with Link-16, a tactical data link network that enables it to communicate in near real time with a variety of U.S. and allied military assets, ensuring interoperability and a more cohesive tactical picture. These advancements are part of a strategic effort to maintain the B-52's relevance in modern aerial warfare and extend its service life well into the future. Out row. So, as the B-52 Stratofortress soars into a new era with its enhanced capabilities, it remains a symbol of resilience and strategic importance.
The integration of the new F-130 engines and other modern upgrades ensures that this iconic bomber continues to meet the demands of contemporary warfare. But as we marvel at the technological advancements and the Air Force's commitment to the B-52, one open question persists. How will these upgrades redefine the B-52's role in the future landscape of military aviation? The answer to this question will shape the legacy of the BUFF for decades to come.